Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics. Anyone else got that same feeling as me? I need a fish, I need a fish, I need a fish. With the, the weather, we've been having a bit of wind and we've had that big wet, that flooding that's turned the water to just brown. It looks like coffee. Uh, I, I've been putting it off and putting it off and putting it off, but I'm itching for a fish. So I'm just gonna get out there and give it a go. So basically what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna focus on what I can control rather than what I can't control. I can't control that there's a 20 knot wind blowing and I can't control that the water is brown, but I can control where I fish, how I fish and what I throw. So basically my plan is to get out on the water and catch this breeze down and find myself a couple of sheltered banks. So I'm gonna fish some sheltered mangrove edges and that rules the wind out so I don't have to worry about the wind. Then I've just gotta worry about the brown water. I've noticed some bait coming back into the system, so that's a good sign. Once the bait starts to work its way back in and eat all those nutrients, lots of fish will come back in, hopefully following that bait. So I'm gonna look for bait. I'm gonna look for structure. As we said in the newsletter last week, you know, what can we do to fish that dirty water? We can look for clean water. It's brown out here. Look for bait. So we're gonna find bait. We're gonna find structure. We're going to scent up, so I'm going to put plenty of scent on those presentations. I'm going to mix up my retrieves, fast, slow, bounce it on the bottom, roll it above the weed, try a few different things. And I can pretty much guarantee that I'm going to throw this guy as well. So I've got a few different presentations rigged up, but this is just an absolute dirty water favourite. So you would have seen in videos, if you've watched any videos I've done, I fish this plastic a lot. It's a two and a half inch Slim Swims and it's in midnight oil color. So basically it's got the motor oil, which is a UV reactive color, and it's also got fleck through there that's gonna flash like a scale flash in the light to make the most of any light that we've got penetrating that dirty water that'll react with that UV and give us some scale flash as well on there. I've got it rigged on a quarter ounce 1OTT Demons, and the Demons is a painted head with a V sort of shape on the front. So the cool thing about that is when the plastic is rolling in the water, this painted head has sort of flat sides, so it catches the sunlight as well. So that's gonna give me some extra flash and attraction as well in the really dirty water. So I've got no doubt I'll throw the other things around, but this is, this is probably my go-to, you know, throw what you know. In a situation like this, it's not gonna be a hot bite, it's gonna be a grind, I'm gonna just be working and working and working. I'm hedging my bets with that smaller profile plastic, so I don't care what I catch as long as I catch something. Brim, grunter, yellow tail pike, it doesn't matter. Just if we can catch something, it'll just prove that the system's coming back again and it's gonna get better and better and better. So I've hedged my bets with that smaller plastic rather than my go-to flatty plastic, which is the three inch minnows. So smaller profile plastic will appeal to more fish, plenty of scent. We've got it in that dirty water special color and that TT head that's gonna give us that added advantage as well. All right, I've thought about it a lot. Let's get out there and see if we can catch a fish. So what I'm doing here, I'm fishing quite shallow. It's probably a meter of water. There's a drain going in here, but I've noticed a lot of bait fish hanging around out the mouth of the drain here. So I'm gonna focus where the bait is. I can't control the water color. I can't control, you know, all the fresh we've had, but what I can control is where I'm fishing. So I'm gonna focus on where there's bait, where there's water movement. And in this case, there's a drain, nice drain going into the mangroves there. So that's a pretty good recipe is bait fish and a drain. There's gonna be something holding in there. So I'm just gonna persist here and see how we go.
Yep, there we go. We finally got ourselves a bite. We've been working pretty hard for hanging around with this bait. Find the bait, find the fish. So after this bad weather, brown water, basically go with what you know. So I've put on a um, two and a half inch slim swims, midnight oil color, and we've hooked ourselves what feels like a nice flathead. Want to get him out of the mangroves there. Yeah, that's a decent flatty. We'll swim him around, and hopefully into the net. Come on, buddy. That's on that quarter ounce 10 Demons TT Demons jig head. Two and a half inch slim swims. We're gonna end up in the mangroves. Come on, buddy. In the net. Yes, beautiful. In the net. Now we need to get out of the mangroves. <laughs> Well, we threw some casts to get this fella in the dirty water, but it shows if you persist, there's definitely an opportunity to get a fish. So I'm just gonna back us out of the mangroves a bit. So as, as I was saying, like basically the water, you can see the water is coffee brown, like it's brown. And there's a lot of sediment in it. So in that situation, I wanna go with what I know. So. I've gone with that Slim Swims, two and a half inch. Midnight oil color. Midnight oil is great because you've got the flash in the dirty water. That's not a bad flatty. Settle down, settle down, settle down. There you go, that's not a bad flathead. Uh, especially first fish after the all the flooding and rain that we've had. There you go, that's a nice lizard. Nice flatty. So all that flooding and rain that we've had, it's I wasn't sure how we'd go, but that shows the fish are there. There's plenty of bait there, just got to persist. And I've thrown a lot of casts to get that flatty. Let's put it on the measure and then we'll send it back in again. So around about it's 40 to that mark there. So it's around about a 60, a 60 centimeter flatty. So it's a good flatty on that favorite of mine oh, 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 settle down buddy on that favorite that two and a half inch slim swims midnight oil quarter 10 tt demons and that midnight oil color so you've got the uv and you've got the glitter so any sun that's penetrating this water is going to hit that glitter and give us that scale, natural scale flash and then we've got the uv of that motor oil well so that's it motor oil and the glitter makes our midnight oil all right there you go 60 centimeter flatty nice fish happy to catch one after all the rain we've had and i'm going to send her back in there she's away back to the bottom you beauty fish on okay so i had all sorts of theories about what i was going to fish and where i was going to fish and all sorts of things today and then I just went back to go with what you know, you know, when the, when the conditions are less than ideal, like right now with this dirty, dirty water after the floods, I just went with that midnight oil. I know the motor oil is UV. I know that, that I'm going to get that scale flash. Hey, there's a mullet. Uh, I've gone with that head. This is a TT Demon's head and you can see the flat sides on that head. So when it's swimming in the water, you actually get flash from the head as well. That head moves from side to side and catches the sun. So you get the flash from the head. You've got the scale flash in that midnight oil color. You've got that motor oil, boom, UV, so that pops. And then I'm putting sardine pilchard on here as well. So there's a lot of there's a lot of mullet, hardy heads, sardines, all sorts of bait fish in the water here. So basically I'm making sure that I sent up that plastic because the bite is tough, you know, it's it's bites tough in amongst the dirty water there but that you know that 60 centimeter flatty that shows that they're still feeding the fish are still feeding they got to eat so it's just a matter of persisting throwing casts and eventually you know you'll get the reward do the miles get the smiles my lead is a little bit chewed there 
So I'll patch up that leader and see how we go. So I had no idea how we were gonna go, whether we'd find a fish at all. But one thing we did there was we stuck around the bait. And by sticking around the bait, at some point the predator was gonna come to get a feed. So we know that find the bait, find the fish. So I, I just persisted around that bait and eventually we got that flathead. First bite I've had though, other than a couple of little taps, so you know you just gotta just gotta tough it out, tough it out, tough it out. And that um I had two little taps earlier out on the flat, but I think that was probably just bait fish tapping my soft plastic, which they do from time to time. So I've re retied this leader. We had that chewed leader. And that's job done. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to come out here and see if I could get a fish after all of that rain and all that dirty water. Everyone I've been talking to has said I haven't bothered or um, I haven't had any bites. So nice to get out here and just see that the fish are still here.